five simple steps to set up your TP Link router. Let's get right to it. Okay, first, your router will probably be displaying an orange indicator like this. You need to simply plug it with an Ethernet cable. You would have received one with your router. It looks like this. After a sec or two, the indicator will change its color to green. Now quickly open the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and look for the TP-Link Wi-Fi address. After it's connected, you need to access the admin panel of the router. Wondering how to do the same? More about that in the next step. To access the admin panel, you need to note the router's address. For example, sometimes it's an IP like 192.168.0.1. Now, go to any browser and search for it. Select the option of Quick Setup, then click on Next. Click on Wireless Router and select Next. With me till now? Cool, we'll keep going. Now comes the most important part. If you are using your router to access internet from your ISP, ask them to give you a type. Some of the IP types are Dynamic IP, Static IP, PPoE, L2TP and PPTP. If you already have a username and password from your ISP, you need to select PPoE. Then simply fill out the details required and proceed. If you have a static IP, select the same option and fill out the information asked. Then simply connect. Now I have a dynamic IP, so I will select that. For this type, you don't need to do much. Just tap on next two times and enter your wireless network name. If you want, you can even set a password here. Then click on next and select save. We are almost done guys, just one more step. For the last step, all you need to do is select your new SSID to access the internet. And that's it, you did it. You can now successfully connect to the internet. Found this video helpful? Then don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to Act Fibernet for more such videos. See you in the next one.